Right, people, we're going to look at doing this isometric view using these three orthographic projections, a front view, top view, and a left view over there. Um, it's third angle orthographic projection. Uh, what we need to do is to use that information in order to draw this view over here. The first thing that we're going to look at is drawing the pentagon. As soon as we've got that, we will be able to get on with this. So I start out and I draw my pentagon. How do I do that? Well, I've got the length of the side of that pentagon drawn over here, and I extend my pair of compasses to that length, and I draw a circle, just a plain old circle over there, using that radius of the length of the side. I come over to this side, and I draw another circle, coming around here. There we go. I've got an intersection over there, and I'm going to draw, well, I don't need to draw a full circle, but you can, full circle going around over there, right? And that gives me an intersection point over there on those two circles, an intersection point over there on those two circles, and I'm going to draw a perpendicular bisector going through the center of that line over there. You'll note that that perpendicular bisector intersects the circle at that point over there, and I'm going to use that to draw some lines out in order to draw the pentagon. So I've got a line coming out, touches that point on the circle, draw another line coming out from that intersection through the perpendicular bisector and the arc over there, and that gives me that point on the circle. That gives me those 72 degree angles that I need for my pentagon. That going from there to there, and this going from there to there. And I can then try and find that point over there for the apex of the, um, the pentagon. Okay. The length of the side hasn't changed, so it's the same radius there, same radius there, and I bring that same radius up here and I mark that off in order to find the, uh, the top of my pentagon. Right, I can then draw that in. There we go, and there we go. Right, my next step is to try and find the center of this pentagon. Um, well, I've already got a perpendicular bisector going through. I know that that's going through the center. Um, I can now take this measurement over here of half the length of that side, over there. And if I flick it over onto this side over here, I then find half the length of that side. If I've got that point over there, I can draw a line going across to the intersection of those two lines, finding the center of my pentagon. After I've done that, well, I can draw lines going up to the top, giving me exactly the same thing as I've got in that view over there of my pentagon. Okay, what is this representing? It's representing a pentagonal pyramid. Right. Okay, my next thing is to draw the fish tank. It says that I've got a 62 by 62 um, base over here, so I'm going to draw in a fish tank. 62 millimeters going that way. 62 millimeters going that way. It then says that I go up 12 millimeters, so I can mark off 12 millimeters there. Okay, measure off 12 millimeters over there. It then says that I measure off 56 millimeters from there going up to there. Right. And from there, I can then draw in uh, the full fish tank. So I can draw a line going across there. You see I've got a line coming down over here, line coming down over there. I can draw a line going across over here. Please pardon the interruption. Can please go to the wall? There we go. Right, there we go. So I've got my fish tank in place now. And um, I can then start measuring off what I need in order to draw the uh, draw this whole shape. Right. Um, you'll see that um, the 
distance to the center over there. They say 31, 31 over there, and obviously 31, 31 over there. So how do I find the center of these lines? What I like to do is I take my set square and I just draw a construction line going down like that. I draw a construction line going across like that, um, giving me an intersection point over there. And if I take my 60 degree going back like that, I will find the center point over there of that line. And I can take a center line going back over here, finding the center of the story. Same story over here. I can draw a line coming down over here, a line going across over here, and a line going back at my 60 degrees going up like that, finding the center over there. And I can now find the center of this story, which is going to give me the apex of my pyramid. So there's point zero, there's point zero on my isometric view. Okay, once I've got that, well, I need to draw this pentagon, okay? And uh, what I would suggest is you draw that pentagon in construction lines up at the top here, and we're going to project those lines down in order to find that pentagon on the base over there. Okay, well, how do I go about doing that? It says that um, I've got this pentagon, and it's placed um, in the center, and I haven't even been given a measurement over there, which is a bit of a problem. But I do know where my center is, so I can go to my auxiliary view and I can take that measurement off my auxiliary view, go across here, pop that over there, and I can draw a line going across, just a construction line going across there. Right, once I've got that in place, I can then say, well, that distance from the center of the pentagon's line to the corner. I can now take that, pop that over there, go over here, pop that over there, and I can then draw in, this is a construction line, okay? Construction line of the length of the side of my pentagon. Right, my next step is, I know the distance from the center to, these two corners, right? If you look at that, I've got this distance from the center to these two corners over here. I can take that measurement off there, take that across to my zero, and I can draw a construction line going across over here, like that. I've got a distance from that line over there across to that corner. Take that distance, go over over there, and I pop that in there, turn it around, pop that in there, and I found the two corners that I need for drawing these two lines. Right, also in construction lines, let me just draw that in construction lines, red construction lines, there we go. And the last point that I need for my pentagon is this distance from the base going to that point over there, go from the base to that point over there, and I have all five corners of my pentagon. All right, that's all done in construction lines. Our next step is, I'm going to take lines coming down from these corners. There we go, I'm just gonna take this yellow crayon over here, and I'm going to draw lines coming down from the corners, okay? That corner over there, I'm not going to be able to see it on my drawing, so I'm not even going to bother dropping it down. Um, and from those corners, I can now measure off this distance of 56 millimeters. Obviously measure that off, 56 millimeters. Come to that corner, and I mark that off over there. 56 millimeters down, go to that corner, mark that off over there, go to that corner, and mark that off over there, go to that corner, mark that off over there. Once I've got those corners, I can then draw in the base of the pentagon. I'm going to draw that in dark. There it is. There it is. And there it is, there's the base. 
and I obviously have lines going up to the apex to form my pyramid in my isometric view. There it is. And there we go. And last line over there. Once I've done that, well, I can then come back to this base over here. I know that I can draw in this line as a dark line going across there. I can draw in this line going across over there, dark line, measure up 12 millimeters, draw a line going across to my fish tank over there, draw a line going across to my fish tank over there. I can draw in these three vertical lines, that one, that one, and that one. And then I take lines going back at the 30 degrees over here, and a line going back at 30 degrees over there. And there we go. There is my um, pentagonal pyramid sitting on a square base as an isometric view.